What's up, fellow Clashers? It's Apollyon here, and we're going to go with another episode, the second one of Who Hit It Best. Um, I like it. I think it's a really cool thing, and I don't really see anybody else doing it. So we're going to go ahead and show two Town Hall 9 bases getting hit by two different types of attacks, uh, two different people, and one Town Hall 8. So let's start with uh, number one. And um, I don't know, I, I mean, you can judge it on a bunch of things. Obviously, Supercell judges it by the um, amount of time it takes. I don't, I don't know, I, it's kind of true, but I also like to see how many troops you have left over. I like to see the deployment. I like a, a whole bunch of things. So, um, but everybody's got really cool styles, and that's what makes the game really cool. So let's check out NAR number 12 hitting number one and getting a three-star, bringing a uh, shattered uh Goho, and uh, he's going to use a double poison to take care of the clan castle, so we'll speed that up. Also, just keep in mind that, uh, you know, Danker has uh, very low royals, 10 and 7, so, um, which is, you know, something that's pretty amazing. He uses the shattered there, drops the two golems on the side, uh, follows it up with wizards right after, follows it right after that with the queen, start to taking out all these things and funneling. And then drops the wall breakers with the clan castle with the P.E.K.K.A. And uh, starts the all route in there. Brings a jump, brings a rage, and brings two heals. So rage is up, everything right there. And uh, needs to drop that jump. There we go. Drops the jump and follows it up with a couple of hogs just sprinkled in there to, to, to take out those cheap defenses while the kill squad's being targeted by the expo and everything else. So very, very nice. Uh, starts to do a, a surgical hog clockwise. Just sprinkling in a little bit here and a little bit there. Has two heals left over for those hogs. And uh, still the queen is completely up. King is up. Both of them have their abilities up. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, so we're taking care of this, uh, you know, core here. The hogs are making their way around. Still has one more heal there. He drops that heal right in a perfect spot where all the defenses are. Does have some skelly traps that are really pounding on those hogs. And they make a big, big difference. But it uh, looks like he's going to be able to push all the way through and take out uh, those defenses. Uh, but very, very little cleanup is going to be left with those hogs. <clears throat> so everything's done. We're in cleanup. They turn to the skellies, and we are completely done. They do hit the giant bomb, but uh, I think it uh, might have only taken out one. But uh, everything's going good. So it's one way to hit it is with low royals, uh, low golem. Remember the level two golems and. Uh, you know, bring in a, a Goho with a P.E.K.K.A. in the clan castle. So let's go ahead and check out the other attack. Alright, so um, Huck was actually the first one to hit number one. And he got the three stars on first hit, first attack. Uh, so uh, he brought a La Loon. And uh, I think he's bringing... Um, uh, four hounds and uh, cold blooded um, with one max golem in the clan castle. Took a little bit longer in there um, as far as the uh, um, you know the, the how long it took, but it's still a very very nice hit. Drops the the one golem in there, the max golem from the clan castle and the queen right behind it to start that funnel. Uh, he really just needs to take out that one air defense as he brings four lava hounds and uh, he's up he's. You know, not needing to push too far in there. Does drop the king in there to start just getting a little bit further. And uh, that's to go ahead and take out that enemy queen. So as soon as that king gets aggro on that uh, queen, he'll go ahead and take that jump. And uh, drops the poison in there to, to, to uh, take out the clan castle. The rage is up. Goes and takes out that queen. Very, very close though. And uh, that queen, the friendly queen, is just walking. So he's going to use the double poison to take out this clan castle. Um, as that uh, the, the friendly queen goes down, drops the second poison there. And that's one of the reasons why it took a little longer was that, was that clan castle kill. So drops the two hounds in from the uh, bottom side, 6 o'clock and 5 o'clock positions. And drops the other hounds in from the uh, nine, or 9.30 and uh, 8 o'clock positions. And uh, the balloons behind it sells three rages, so dropped one so far, drops the second one to get into that uh, air defense. And then they only have one more air defense to go uh, through. 
Uh, both air defenses are down on the bottom. That top one is up, but three lava hounds are making their way and then trails the rest of the loons. Still holds three back. One of them pops. Second one pops. And doesn't look like the third one is going to pop. So <clears throat> he has uh, a lot of lava hounds cleaning up on, uh, lava pups cleaning up on the top and uh, drops the rest of those loons in to help with the cleanup. So that one lava hound is going to make it through the rest of the uh, raid without popping. And if it was, it definitely, w if it did pop, it would have definitely helped with the cleanup and made this so much quicker. Probably would have shaved off another 30 seconds of that time. So we'll go ahead and clean up. And uh, those pups will go ahead and get aggro on the king, take that king out. And again, taking up more time. And then the, uh, the hound and the loons will clean up from the bottom. So both really, really nice attacks. That's one of the pluses of having a perfect war is you can hit the same base multiple times and try different strategies. So great job to Huck as well. Both Danker and Huck did a great job with those. Both really great methods and both really good attacks. All right, for our next, next uh, who hit it best, we're going to go ahead and check out number three, the base number three, and we're going to check out E-Ballin, uh, our number 10, going with a Govaho, and, uh, you know, bringing a shattered entry with two golems from the uh, kind of the 8 o'clock to 6 o'clock positions, brings a jump and three heals, a jump for his, his kill squad, and uh, three heals for the hogs, uh, and possibly Valkyries, too, or the rest of the kill squad. Um, that one wizard decides he wants to solo the king. That didn't work out so good. Clan Castle comes out, has uh, two poisons to drop there. Rages up his king, and his king is down. Queen is still up with ability. Uh, quad Tesla there for those Valkyries to go ahead and make their way through. Poison doing work on the dragon. And uh, I think the queen is just completely ignoring it. So <clears throat> we're going to now finally goes down. By that, uh, some of those wizards. That's a great thing. The golem is tanking, and I think the yeah, there's a couple Valkyries still left taking care of those skelly traps, and it's time to go ahead and send this hogs in there. Uh, start working their way counterclockwise around the base, surgically sprinkling some hogs in from the side, from the top, and still has another heal left over. Just a few more defenses left, but again, those skelly traps are definitely tough. Sends in the rest of the hogs from the 9 o'clock position, still holding that one heal. And uh, they hit the giant bomb, but he decides he does not want to heal there. The golem triggers the other giant bomb for them, and he will go ahead and swag that heal at the end. So uh, Queen is still up, uses the ability just to go ahead and push through the rest of the base, but cleanup is uh, imminent there. So very, very nice hit. So let's go ahead and check the other hit on number three. Alright, on this uh, hit on number three, Rampo is going to go ahead and bring the same type of army. Uh, he's going to bring a Goho or a Govaho, um, but he's going to bring Quad Quake to get in there and not to jump. So it's going to leave him with uh, one, two heals and one rage. And he comes in from the opposite corner, or not the opposite, but the, the, the bottom right corner instead of the bottom left hand corner. Drops the one Golem in, uh, he'll follow it up with another one, uses the Quad Quake, starts the funneling. And um, he's going to drop the other uh, golem run right after for a shattered entry as soon as that quad quake is finished. All the golems reroute, drop some wizards in there. Uh, didn't get quite the good funnel on the right-hand side. Uh, drops his royals, the king and queen, and then the valkyries right there. And the valkyries are going to walk. Uh, does not have a... Um, <clears throat> a, a uh, a poison for the clan castle but uh, does have the rage which he rages them up and those wizards will get in rage and take out that clan castle in just a couple of hits sends the hogs in uh, from a different side but still decides to go from uh, in, a in a counterclockwise manner has uh, two heals left over for them or now one heal left and uh, the kill squad is triggering the giant bombs and tanking a good amount of those defenses especially the point defenses like those archer towers Skelly traps are definitely causing some problems. Tons of skellies there. Uh, has to push through with that heal um, as those skellies are doing a lot of work on his hogs. Most of the kill, kill squad is down except for those hero valkyries. They are up top. 
as they decided to go ahead and take the long way uh, around the scenic route. And there's only two more defenses left. That queen eats the giant bomb. Otherwise, she would have made it through the rest of the raid. And uh, they're going to go ahead and make it all the way down to that cannon with the skellies hitting them. So they'll go ahead and take out this cannon. And then they'll go ahead and uh, get taken out by those skellies. So definitely a big deal. Those wizards almost got taken out as well. But all the Valkyries are up with the wizard behind them. And uh, they'll go ahead and help with the cleanup and take the rest of the base out. So both, again, very, very nice attacks. And uh, gives you the idea of, you know, you can come in from different angles. So very, very nicely done, Rampo and uh, Ebon. All right, for our last base, we're going to look at a Town Hall 8. And you guys saw this this particular attack on Power Bang's uh, Electric 8 uh, channel. If you haven't seen it yet or his video, go ahead and check it out. But we'll go ahead and show it again, uh, his attack and the other one that uh, was done on number 18. So it uh, brings a Go Va Low on this one with Quad Quake, uh, Heal, and Poison. I'm sorry, Rage. And uh, I was going to have to anchor on the bottom with no poisons for this clan castle with barbarians and wizards and takes care of them. Then sends the two golems a shattered entry at the 6 o'clock position on the right and the left. Uses wizards really quickly in there to go ahead and start his funneling. Take care of that process. And then we'll have to use the quad quake after these wall breakers go down and open up both sides. Very, very nicely done. Uh, quad quakes right at the right spot to open up the uh, both sides for the uh, uh, core. And everything is going to start routing in. Sends those Valkyries in there. Sends Valkyries in the other side. So they're going to go ahead and go right and left. One, two, go right for that king. And uh, go ahead and take him out in a couple swipes, especially under that rage. Everything is down. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, pretty much tear through the rest of that core under a heal. All the uh, air defenses are down now. And um, everything else is focused on those uh, that kill squad, on all those Valkyries, Golems, and Kings. So those loons are just going to come in ninja style and take everything out. Absolutely no problem. This is exactly how you do a Go Valo. That's uh, textbook uh, everything. So from beginning to end. And that's why he crushes the base like this. So very, very nice. We're on cleanup. It does not get a great split. There's a good split there. Um, and uh, everything is going to clean it up the base. So very, very nicely done. All right, let's go ahead and check out the other attack on this base. Jomar 8 is going to go ahead and hit this. He does it in a pretty good amount of time, too, on under two and a half minutes, which is pretty decent. And he's going to go with a Go-Ho instead of a go -Val -Low. So, um, and bring uh, two poisons and uh, three heals for those hogs. So a little different composition. Uh, go ahead and get that lore. We'll go ahead and speed this up as he's going to use a double poison for that clan castle. And I think that's one of the things that takes a little bit more time. So it's not at all a bad thing. It just, uh, just make, it extends that time for a couple extra seconds, maybe 10, 15 seconds instead of ca killing it, which is much faster with, a, uh, with wizards and barbarians. Comes in the complete opposite end. Those wall breakers completely eat that giant bomb, which is a shame. But that's why you always bring more wall breakers, which he did. So um, they'll go ahead. The golems will reroute there. Funnel is great. And uh, King will reroute. Brings the P.E.K.K.A. and the clan castle. And these things will start tearing through towards the core. I'm um, pretty sure he wanted to get that. Uh, brought those extra wall breakers to make their way through that core into that enemy king. But uh, it's no big deal. Um... So they'll go ahead and hit another giant bomb on the entry, those hogs, and uh, but still has two more heals left over. Uh, they're going to start making their way into that core. Tesla's pop, and they're going to have to heal up pretty soon just because of that giant bomb spots. And uh, other Tesla comes through, so they're pushing through with a lot of point uh, uh, defense and even a couple splash defenses. So King and Golem are still making their way up top, tanking some of these defenses. Those hogs will go ahead and take care of these last. Only a couple wizard towers and a cannon left, and uh, they've got it all done. So we're in cleanup mode. So again, a very, very nice attack on this one. Uh, just two great attacks on how to take out this base. So, you know, as my opinion, I think everybody did a great, great job. Everybody used great uh, unit compositions, and everybody attacked them great. So... Who do you guys think hit it best? Go ahead and take these compositions 
Take these strategies, these deployments, go ahead and get your six-star wars and practice those three-star attacks.